Hey guys, welcome to this first part of the vlog. So, I just, my birthday was just passed. And here you go, I just got my, I got my new 46 gallon aquarium. You'll be seeing this right in the next part. But this is my uh, 50 gallon uh, filter. And then this is a aqua vacuum, it's actually really cool. I can't wait to use it. So... Uh, I'll see you guys with the first setup of the aquarium. Hey, and welcome to this part of the video. I just, you know, my birthday was June 3rd, and I just, and I got this aquarium. It is a 46 gallon, right there on the floor, it is a 36, 46 gallon uh, tank, you know, a nice little stand here. And um, what I was doing with this is just looking in a space to. See these lights right here? I like this is the best part of the aquarium. Ready? Ready for this? Yeah. Let's go. That's oh, so great. But um, so pretty much my predicament now is uh, these lights back here. We planned for them to um go right go right on these sides because I have a filter that needs to go on the back and the filter can't be hanging over it uh, so but the problem with hanging it on the sides is that it only goes a certain direction and this would be on this side and that would just not work at all um, so I'm just seeing what I can do with, with it over here and also the filter that I tried to put on this tank before it's not the one that I bought so I'm not sure if it's going to uh, fit in that little gap right there. So you can see there's one, there's a there's is an edge, and this is an edge. So I'm gonna try and you know open it up and see what I can do. Here we go. So I've already put it together um, before I, I got here, you know. But um, I'm I'm kind of hope. Oops. Oops. Oh god, okay. See, I'm, I'm gonna go, like, put this. Uh, I'm gonna show you the next clip, see if maybe I can get into the aquarium. Okay, here we go. Right here, this is what it looks like. A little, little spinny knobby thing right there. And it actually, this. Wow, that's close. Oh my god, okay, it fits, it's fine. So, what I, what I need to try and do now is move try and move this light somewhere else so that everything fits properly but there has to be a position there's almost an infinite amount of positions no there's not there's like a lot of positions though so there has to be one that works okay I finally got it only took me like an hour I'm excited okay so <laughs> here we go here is how the top is this uh, little flap right here it barely fits, so uh, this filter is, bar is like just good enough. I put these lights right on the side, um, and I and I actually like had to take everything off and reclip it on, so it would perfectly go. It would this part would just stick out, and so it goes right along the out, right along the front. Uh, clips on, keeps going. And then I found this little gap right right there, and it didn't exactly fit at first. So I did a bunch of stuff, but then I just cut a little right a uh, little crease right there, and it allowed it to freely move in and out mostly. Yep. So it won't get crushed. So that took me quite a bit to um, figure out, but I guess it's okay. And then this thing right down here, this is a, this is called an aqua vacuum. See so, you now, uh, I'm going to give a quick review on it when I've been, when I've been uh, using it. It says two in one, and yeah, it's a pretty good filter, but if you have, like I just tried it out on this tank right here. And some of those rocks, this really small ones, when they go up, when they go up, it gets stuck right in the propeller and it just stops working. So um, I'm 
that that's just kind of a little bit annoying. And I'm not sure if it's going to keep, I'm not sure if I, if uh, I want gravel in my next aquarium. Uh, and this one, right in the, uh, that tank, I'm really thinking about, um, putting sand instead. And I actually do really want sand, because sand, actually, I think it looks better. So, yeah, that's what I am doing, and if I were to give a, um, a rating on... That upside down thing right there, the air vacuum plus, then I would give it out of five stars. Um maybe like two maybe like a two and a half. Or maybe like okay, I'll, I'll give it a three. I'll give it a three. And maybe if it works better for me in my sand aquarium in the future, I will change that. But currently for right now, it is not. Okay, here we go. So I have put the sand in put the two structures in and right now I'm starting to fill it up with water hey guys do you notice anything different yeah I cleaned up this tank so this is spent this took me hours to do so right here that's I got my new tank in and look at that see now that I have it's such a big aquarium now I don't even have it looks like it, there's nothing in it I, I, I like it a lot, actually, but, uh, you know, I got my cool little filter right here, the spinning. You can't tell. That's spinning. And I only have two, three live plants in here. And so tomorrow, I will be going to the pet store and buying $100 worth, at least $100 worth of plants to go in this aquarium. Oh, that's going to be fun. Okay, for this aquarium, I am hoping to God that I do not have the same black hair algae as I did last time. That, that, that black hair algae is not good at all. Once it gets to your aquarium, it is never coming out. It is so bad. Like, unless, it, unless you take everything out of your aquarium, um, you would really wash the sides, get new gravel, new, new everything besides your fish. You're never getting it. You're never going to get it out. So, um, probably some tips for that is do more frequent water changes. Um, that's something that I do not do well is water changes because I just get really lazy. Even though I have like all the time to do it, still don't do it. But I'm going to get better at that this time. And also, uh, this, this structure right there, a lot of my fish seem to like that better than the other one, which I'm actually really surprised. So you can see um, all of the fish right there that's schooling. And then if we come around here, there's that one. And then over here, you can also see something different. I rearranged everything because I didn't like the way it was before. So... As you can see, I kind of layered up everything into the back. Um, some more snow right there. So yeah, I, I lay. Um, it's more towards the back now, and all of my corals. That's like all in that corner. I have the um, zoanthids right there, and then the, that one that I don't know, right there. And I have a few spots like that's a divot right there, and I'm I'm gonna see if I can put an anemone in there. Cause wow, I'm using there a lot, aren't I? I'm going to put an enemy there, and I can also put a few other, I can put other, like, um, corals or anemones in a few other places, but I think definitely my, my shrimp likes it the best, because it's been, like, hanging all under it and stuff. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, um, just th this little, little video of the new, another overview about the stuff that I got. I'm, I will also be putting out some um, just random tutorials about the uh, fresh and salt water aquariums and these tutorials is going to be more like what to get for beginners because I'm not a beginner. I'm an intermediate person. Yeah.